Hey guys, welcome to Moxie 1701 and another game review. This one is Lego movie video game on the PlayStation 3. Now you may have noticed there's some lines on the image. I apologize for that, but I'm recording this directly off a plasma screen, so there's not really much I can do about that. Just give me a second to look at my game. Basically, in this video, I'm going to show you some gameplay and give some personal thoughts and opinions about the game itself. One of the first things I really don't like is this game has very long loading times. You spend a lot of time staring at screens like this. And that for me is an issue. And here's your basic gameplay screen. You have your little character, in this case it's Batman, jumping around, you can do little special moves, you can throw your batarang around. Pretty standard Lego stuff. At the top of the screen you have your character picture, whatever character you're using. You have your life meter beside it, those little hearts. And whenever you pick up any studs, it shows you how many studs you have. You can jump and slide and do all kinds of stuff. And when you pause, you get your options, standard options for audio, hints, everything you come to expect from a good LEGO game. You can take a look at the game controls so you know what button does what. Extras are basically red bricks that you've unlocked throughout the game. And obviously, quick game. Now, the gameplay is pretty smooth. The characters control pretty well. I have found, though, some graphical glitches. Some objects tend to get stuck on corners. Uh, when you're trying to jump, you tend to miss the, ob the objects that you're jumping at because it's hard to tell where they are sometimes. But all in all, it's a great game. I'd recommend it for anybody who likes LEGO games. The plot of the story is kind of disconnected and a little bit crazy. But anybody who's seen the movie knows that the movie is kind of disconnected and a little bit crazy. So it it's pretty true to the movie. I'd give this one a solid 8 out of 10. I would recommend it for anybody who likes the Lego game. And on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, ah, uh, pardon me, on the Xbox One, I have both versions. Uh, there's not really much difference graphically. Maybe a tiny little bit if you compare them side by side. But it's a Lego game. You know, it looks pretty cool. So, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and have a good one.